Hello and welcome. I'm Kristen, your wellness advocate with doTERRA, and today we'll be making fizzy toilet tabs to clean your toilet, so stick around. These uh, fizzy toilet tabs, they work a lot like a bath bomb would where you just drop them in the water and they fizz and fizz and dissolve and release everything in them into the water. The main difference being that these toilet tabs are made with specific things to help clean your toilet. And uh, I have very hard water at my house, so I included borax in this. You may or may not want to use the borax. If you don't, then you can increase the baking soda. And uh, the baking soda will help with cleaning a lot. What I do is I drop them in, I wait 10 minutes or so, let them fizz and soak and do their thing, and then just wipe it out with your toilet brush and you're done. This is my newest addition to my regular cleaning routine. And I gotta tell you, I, I love them. The job before I discovered these fizzy toilet tabs, the job of cleaning my toilet was horrible. I hated it. It, it got me nasty and I felt like I needed a shower every time. And um, it was really hard work. You know, you had to scrub. If anybody in the house had been sick, you have to do it a lot very frequently and it was just a horrible job but now I just drop it in leave it for 10 minutes you know I go and wash dishes or fold laundry or even just clean the outside of the toilet while it's doing its job wipe it out make sure you brush everything really good all the way through and uh, get underneath the water line and above it does the job you will be surprised Stick around afterwards and we will announce a giveaway. For the Toilet Fizzy Cleaning Balm, we are going to be using baking soda, citric acid, borax. Then we will be using essential oils, uh, lemon, and grapefruit. I am quadrupling my recipe because I'm making for myself, I'm doing a giveaway, and I have friends asking for them. Our last ingredient is going to be our doTERRA On Guard Cleaner Concentrate. So we begin with our citric acid. The recipe calls for a half cup for one batch. I am not doing one batch, so I will be using two cups. And the same for the borax. Now this is just regular old borax that you can get at the grocery store as a detergent booster for laundry. And it will probably be found in either the chemicals aisle or the laundry aisle. And our baking soda. The recipe also calls for a half cup. I will be using two cups because I'm quadrupling my recipe. And now we want to mix these dry ingredients together. Now we will mix our wet ingredients. This will be six teaspoons of cleaner concentrate. The recipe calls for one and a half teaspoon, but I am quadrupling it. And 
and the recipe calls for 20 drops of essential oils for one batch. So I will be using 80 drops of lemon and grapefruit, so 40 each. Once you have your cleaner concentrate and your oils together, you want to mix them and it will turn cloudy like this. That is perfectly fine. Nothing to worry about. And then we will begin the mix and pour these directly in. Make sure that you are mixing it very, very, very thoroughly. Once you have everything thoroughly mixed, and beware, it will shoot out everywhere. Now we start putting them in molds. I just use um, ice cube molds, an ice cube tray. Works great. All right, it's the next day. I've taken the fizzing toilet tabs out of their molds and they're still a little mushy, so I'm letting them sit and cure um, stacked in parchment paper. But I have been letting my toilet go without cleaning for a little while so that I can demonstrate how awesome these tabs are and it's getting to the point that I really need to clean my toilet. So come along with me and uh, watch the demonstration so you can see how awesome this recipe is. I had some le leftover crummy bits when I was putting them into molds, so I just mashed a few into these little semicircles that I will be using for the demonstration. And at the same time, I'll be using my trusty doTERRA cleaner concentrate that I have diluted with vinegar and water in a glass spray bottle. And this is what I'm going to use to clean everything above the water line. Ugh. And I just have one thing to say, yuck. This toilet. That is truly a bowl I would not wish on my worst enemy. The first thing I will do is spray above the toilet line, the, uh, spray above the water line and spray the seats. I have a dual seat because my son's skinny butt doesn't fit on the adult seat yet. And I do this to give the cleaner a chance to just sit and soak. And then we open it all up. And here's the toilet tab. There it goes. And you see how it's dissolving and bubbling and it looks pretty much like I sprayed a blast of bubbles into the toilet. Now we will let it dissolve and as it dissolves it's going to release the cleaner concentrate in the bowl and the baking soda 
is going to be helping to clean and sanitize the bowl and the borax that is in the toilet taps will also be helping to clean the bowl. So while all that is going on, I am going to take this old dingy washcloth I have that I now use as a cleaning rag and clean everything else. And it is high time this is done. Hey Google, set a timer for eight minutes. Okay, it is recommended to give the tab at least 10 minutes to completely dissolve. So we will check and it's not completely dissolved yet, but it's pretty well broken up. And then we just take the brush. and clean it out a little. Now notice the amount of force I'm using is minimal. Now I'm just making sure to run across all the surfaces. And I am noticing the hard water deposits that we had building up in the toilet. You can see on the brush, we have hard water. It even deposits on the brush. Um, those deposits are gone. And that is awesome as it was depositing all around the bowl. And this particular commode is only about six months old. Or maybe a little more, but not much more than that. So, uh, with it being so young, you really don't want hard water already mucking up your surfaces. Did I get everything rubbed down? And then... Look at that. Perfect and clean. It is sanitized. It is deodorized. It doesn't smell anymore. That is amazing. I cannot stand a stinky, dirty toilet. You see how well they work? They've worked wonders on mine, and it did not take, no, any elbow grease. I literally was just rubbing the brush around just to make sure that everything was got, because I'm like that. <laughs> I just have to. There, I hope you enjoyed the demonstration, and oh my goodness, was that toilet ever nasty. I hate letting my toilet get dirty, much less that bad. So uh, it really shows the power of those toilet taps. So and now that you have seen everything, we will be doing a giveaway for a small jar of mini toilet taps. Now these mini toilet taps, you would use one of them for a water efficient toilet. So a newer modern toilet will use one tab. If you have an older toilet that really fills up with a lot of water, has the big tank in the back, not the smaller tank, the big tank, you would use two of the, of the mini tabs in there. Most of my viewers are going to be using um, modern commodes, so you'll use one every time you go to clean out your toilet. So good luck. The details to enter are in the description. And uh, hit the subscribe button so that you can enter and click on the little bell button to be notified of all my new videos so that you will get notifications of all of my new giveaways and my new informational videos. I'd love to have you part of my bell brigade, so definitely 
I'll see you soon. I hope you have a great day. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.